I made a video about how to make a three-stage grounded emitter amplifier a few days ago and I have already published another circuit and I'm now going to run to my workbench to show another application of this amplifier but now used as a IF amplifier with coils. No ceramic filter but anyway. Here is the circuit on the breadboard and you can see here in the middle of the screen that can't I have filter. I have quite a bunch of them. They all work on different frequencies and here you can read the frequencies where they work. Uh, they can be uh, found by looking at the core. The core of these IF cans indicates the frequency where they are used. So for instance red 800 kilocycles up to 1.3 megacycles, ferrite that's a little bit uh, dark 2A3 up to 300 kilocycles, blue 4.5 up to 6.5 megacycles, brown 5 to 6 megacycles, purple 35 uh, kilocycles up to 2 three one kilo cycles and I've tested them with an oscillator of course such an oscillator has an impedance on its input so perhaps in another situation these frequencies don't match anyway no problem has all to do with the classical rules of the radio technology here is that filter and it has a core that's ferrite so in theory it has to oscillate it has to have its peak on 283 up to 300 kilohertz but I found another frequency anyway and that's quite normal here the circuit and I've adapted uh, for this application the grounded emitter circuit somewhat. This was the circuit with the ceramic filter on 460 kilohertz. This is the new circuit and you can immediately recognize that it's a grounded emitter circuit. But I've used here now two potentiometers of 22k to set a working point and that is necessary when you want to use um, a transformer that has a coil. So the impedance of such a transformer is not endless. Uh, on the contrary it's very low. So the uh, impedance that the transistor stage sees at its input is also very low and that's the reason why you can see here that I connected here the potentiometer to the wiper of the potentiometer the coil the outcoupling coil and then it goes to the base and at the same time we can set the working point of the transistor with the help of, of that 22k potentiometer. And here the same 22k potentiometer with which you can set the working point of the first transistor. Here you can set the amplification from the first stage. All is very critical by the way. And also here you can set the amplification of the second stage. And when the circuit doesn't work a reverse A and B, the outcoupling coil of the IF transformer. 
and the capacitor that you see now in the middle of the screen is inserted inside that small coil. You can see it, but it's surely there. When you take it apart, you will surely find that capacitor that's often in the, say, 200 picofarad range up to 500 picofarad. You see the potentiometers with which you can set a working point, 22k here, 22k here. Here you can see the potentiometers that set the amplification, 1k, also here 1k. It's a true two transistor stage. So let's see what happens when we change the frequency. It's now 163 or 155 kilohertz, don't know that exactly. And I change now with the help of this uh, sine wave oscillator the input frequency. And I change it now to another one. 187, more or less no output of this transformer circuit. And here the filter works at its best. That's 170, say 170. My counter um, variates somewhat, but anyway. Uh, the waveform is pure and precise. So here is the frequency where that coil filter works. And I have to say you can get all kinds of coil filters to work in this circuit. So it's also a frequent dependent amplifier working with coils in that case and uh, you have to tweak both these potentiometers and these potentiometers the base voltage divider to get the circuit into a properly working circuit and when all is aligned and works well on the scope etc etc um, you can measure, take the potentiometer out and also here and then replace it by fixed value um, resistors or voltage dividers with fixed value resistors. And you can get all kinds of coils working. I'm absolutely sure Many of these coils, as long as they work uh, between, say, 100 kilohertz and uh, 1 megahertz, can be used to make such a frequency dependent amplifier. And when you want to make it, use it as an IF amplifier. This is the way to make an AM detector, amplitude modulated, radio signals detector. Connect that to here, to this location, the 50N capacitor. And at the output here, you can take out the uh, audio frequency signals.